Hi everyone, um, this is Tina with Rehatch Designs and I'm just here with a little craft with me today. Um, I just have a little thing that I'm doing for some journals and I thought maybe you guys might want to see what I'm doing. So um, I am making these little ruffles that go on the um, side of pages or I mean, you could put them, actually put them anywhere in your journal. And it, they're pretty easy to make, not tough. Um, I'm making them out of crepe paper. Um, I bought this online because it's beige, because I was looking for beige. I didn't want white, uh, and I didn't want to have to go through the trouble of, you know, tea dyeing or something. And if you do, then it kind of takes away the, the, I don't know what you call these, the lines or whatever in it. Anyway, so... And I don't know, this is just your standard size, I think. I don't think it's anything, um, you know, let's see. Ivory crepe paper, this is what it is. Um, and I got this on Amazon because I, I didn't want to go shopping. Oh, and by the way, guys, I had all these comments yesterday about people talking about my... Um, silver hands and everything and so like I could not get some of the black off my fingernails so I painted them and now they're a mess because I've been doing this and now look what happened okay so I've been playing with this ink and I didn't you know put my gloves on and I just said eh, I'm just going to go ahead and do it um anyway so it's just this uh cray paper let me move this over here and so all I did is I took, I don't know, let's see, I'm just guesstimating. You got to kind of make them long because um, you sew them later and then it just, um, you just end up, you know, with a lot less than, because it you're gathering them. And then I'm going to take this, let me move that too, do it again, okay. I just have all kinds of stuff out that I shouldn't have out. Need that too. Um, so you're going to take your crepe paper, and I just cut off a piece. I would say, you know, maybe it's probably three feet long, and it might be a little longer than I need, but I'd rather have it longer. Um, and anyway, then I just kind of roll up the piece again. Um, just to kind of get it. Now, if you have one color that you want to use, like let's just say you want to use vintage photo or something, um, you know, and you want it kind of neutral, then you could just do your entire roll. You just leave it like that, okay? And, you know, I could see definitely doing that if you want to use these that way. Anyway, so just roll. I'm taking it way longer than it should. So I'm going to roll this up. It doesn't have to be super tight or perfect, but you kind of want it, you know, kind of even. And all I did is I picked out some colors. Um, I You can either use alcohol ink or you can use, I was just, I got my, a bunch of these little distress inks. I had bought these when Hobby Lobby had a sale. And um, so I have all these cool colors that I have not tried. So um, a few of them, I guess I tried, but a lot of them are just sitting around. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll kind of mess with those and see what I can do with that. So I thought we'll do a few of them together and then y'all can see how they turn out and decide if you want to do them. Anyway, so here's, oh gosh, let me get this all rolled up. Okay, so there it is, right there. There's our piece. And let's see. I want to try. I haven't tried this yet. This is um, cracked pistachio, and it's just distressing. Let's try the little ones. I'm gonna do that. And I am gonna just take this and put some of it on my glass. Um, uh, 
mat here and then I'm going to take this is alcohol okay and this is just the, the cheap alcohol and I'm putting a little bit of alcohol in there and I'm going to take this and I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to dip it in here and go around the sides a little bit. I don't want to go too much, but I want to make sure I get it all. And let it sit there. And the longer you let it sit there, the farther up it's going to go. Go like that. Okay. You know, I, I really like this color. It's a good color. Okay. So anyway, this is what this one kind of looks like right now. It's a very light muted color. And I like it okay. I mean, it's not, you know, I basically dyed most of the whole thing. And that's all right. Okay. And the ends are going to end up looking more um, colored than the others. So let me move that over. But I do think I want to add, I think I want to add another color to that. So do I want to go blue? Let me try this. This is, no, I don't want that. Let me try. I don't know if Lucky Clothes is going to be too dark. And this one is old paper. I don't know. Let me think. Let me think, guys. I want to add another color to this, but I'm not sure which one I want it to be yet. Okay, I am going to try Salty Ocean. And I'm just going to put some Salty Ocean in there. If you wanted to, you could do it separate and then just kind of move it over. I just have a brush over here and then I'll just kind of mix it up. Okay, and I'll probably put a little bit of water in there. Not water, um, alcohol. So now I'm going to take that and I'm just going to move it around the edges. So what that's going to do, it's going to make give it kind of an ombre effect. Um, and I think that'll look really cool in my, my mermaid album. I think the other side needs a little bit more. Okay, so anyway, now this is wet, but it is done with alcohol. So it will dry fairly quickly. Okay. And that's what you're going to get. If you want more color on it, you can go back in and, you know, dip it again. Um, I kind of like it. It's a little subtle and for the album I'm going to use. So anyway, you just let that dry. And it doesn't take long to dry because it's alcohol. And so, like, let me show you what you do next. So after you let it dry, then what you're going to do, where'd my wipe go? Oh, there we go. After you let it dry, then what you're going to do is take it over to your sewing machine, and you're just going to do a straight stitch all the way down the middle, and obviously that piece was longer, but I'm just going to show you how this works. And you just take your top string or bottom string, it doesn't matter, and you want to do a fairly um, loose big stitch because all you're going to do is you're just going to pull it and you're going to, um, okay, that one's kind of stuck. Let me try the other side. Oops, excuse me. Let's see if I can get that one moving. There we go. And so you're just going to pull it and gather it and push it down. And you have to be reasonably gentle because it is paper. Okay, so we're going to do that. And you'll see why you have to have such a big piece because you have to um, be able to, um, if you want enough for a whole page. And it also depends on how gathered you want it to. If you don't want it super gathered, then not a big deal. So, but it's really cool. I think it's a different kind of embellishment. I could see using it on a lot of different things. It's very lightweight, so it doesn't add a lot of bulk to your pages. Um, I mean, of course, you can add more to it, but anyway, let me see. I am going to be 
doing a little mermaid album that I've been working on forever. I've got two already ready. Just I have to decorate them. And then I have another one that I want to start. And I think I'm going to start that maybe tomorrow because I have... Um, I kind of want to do a really grungy one. I think will be really fun. Okay, so anyway, this is kind of what you're going to end up with. Move this down a little bit down here. And you can kind of space them out. And that's kind of what you're going to end up with, which is kind of cool, I think. You know, you can put that on a page. Um, do what you want with it. Okay. So there we go. That's it. Um, so there's a lot you can do with that. Um, okay, let me just see. I've got another one here. Let's see. We've got... Now that's just a plain one. And I've got this orange one. Okay, so here's another one that's another kind of a coral color. A little bit longer. And like I said, it's fairly easy to do this. Um, you just want to not pull too tight and that you don't break the string. Now if you don't have a sewing machine, you could certainly run a stitch, you know, hand stitch down the middle of this. Um, you know, it would take you a little time, but it's it's totally doable. It wouldn't take I don't think it'd take too long. So anyway. So we're just gonna do that. This one's probably too long, so I might cut it in half and then use half of it. Um but I just made them kind of long just because I figured, you know, I'm just gonna have several pieces out of it so so I mean you can do that and go all the way down and this is kind of a coral color I came up with I mixed several colors together to get this and you're gonna go all the way down keep going okay so you see that and you're just pushing the ruffles down I'm sure a lot of y'all have already done something similar to this, right? So I'm probably going to... How much of this? Oh, I might I might do the whole thing. Let's see. Let's see. Just real, like I said, it just really depends on how ruffled you want to make it. Um, and, you know, you could do this and just make flowers out of them if you wanted to. Um, you don't have to just make um, edges for your pages, but that's what I'm doing with it so I kind of wanted something that wasn't super heavy to put on the ends um, I mean I'm gonna do a few snippets but and I kind of like the way that to me this kind of reminded me of coral um, a bit so that's kind of what I was kind of going for Okay, guys, this one's getting a little tangled over here. I'm going to try and pull it from the other side to see if I can do that. And then that way I don't have to move the ruffles all the way down so far. So you can do that if you have a really long one. And then I'm going to keep going. And as you can see, it's really, really easy to um, put the little ruffles in there. So... We're just going to do that all the way down. Get that one got a little bit more. So anyway, so I guess my hands are going to be messed up again. It was really weird because I had one of these um, inks. I think it was candied apple. And I have never had a distress ink that leaked. It was so much ink in there. And it was really weird because... Look, see, it just leaked again. So, I mean, it's just kind of weird. I mean, they don't usually have that much ink in them. You know, by their nature, they're kind of, you know, dry. So, I picked it up. It was, they were still in the package. I took them out of the package, and that thing was leaking all over the place. And I got it all over my hands, and it's not coming off either, which is kind of weird for distress ink. So, anyway. All right, so I got this one. And it's a little bit tighter weave, and I kind of like that because I wanted it to kind of be like a coral. 
and I wanted to show you something else that you could do with these. Um, so anyway, here's my blue one. I think I have more over there that I could do, but so let me give you an idea. I've got a yellow one here too, I think. Um, so, I mean, you can, these will be really cute as embellishments by themselves, but I thought, I don't know what I did with that. I have some different color, um, just some different color, um, eyelash trim and fuzzy yarn and stuff like that and I might take that and go in here with it and I'm just going to glue it I'm not going to go back and sew it because I've already done the ruffle and I want it to be in there kind of random so I'm going to even these out and I'm trying to do it long enough to where it would fit a page you know on the side of a page so I will take my glue and I'm just going to use um, my 3-in-1 glue. So I'm going to take this. And I'm just going to try and get it down the middle as much as I can. So I'm going to put that like that. Like I said, I'm trying to make it look kind of a little bit like coral. You know. So I'm going to put that on there. And it's probably longer than I need, but that's okay. I'm going to roll this up with just a tiny bit. Okay. So now I'm just going to take this. And this is a similar... Cut that string off. It's in the way. Probably could cut your string off the edges when you're done. Because you don't need them after that. Okay. Um, and what that does also is that I put it back on the part I sewed the glue and what that's going to do is that's going to kind of hold that in place too so I'm going to put this in there and I don't want it to sit straight I kind of want it to just kind of go a little bit weaving in and out a little bit not perfect um, just kind of like that so right just just a little bit just to give it some character in there oops here we go and again I'm not trying to make these too heavy or bulky I want it to be kind of light that's my goal so I'm gonna do that see I don't even know why I bother doing anything with my nails or any it's just gonna be a mess my hands are always a mess that's just what I do. Okay, so let me put that down here. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut it off. All right, so I have that like that. And I think what I might do with that also is I have another kind of a lighter coral color, um, almost like a peachy color. And I'm going to see if I can get that kind of in there with it. That's a very light eyelash trim. And I'm just going to put that in there. See if I can poke it down. So I don't have to add more glue. I might have to put a little bit. But I guess I could have wound it in there earlier. But that might have been better. But I'm trying not to do a straight line. I'm trying to kind of weave it. I don't know if it's weaving as good as I want it. Let me get that back over here. Here we go. Anyway, that's kind of my goal is to make it look a little bit more organic. So anyway, so that is kind of what I was trying to do, but let's see. I don't know if maybe I should tuck that under here. I probably maybe should have just wound it, I think. I wonder if I can still get it up. If it'll still come up. Um, without ripping this. Yeah, I think it will. Alright. Let's just kind of Oh, I don't know. It looks it might be hard in the middle. Let's try that again. Okay, so I'm going to just wind it more, I think. Because it's looking doesn't look as organic as I want it to. 
So I'm going to take this and I'm going to kind of wind it a little bit in and out. Let me see if I can get that. My hands are sticky now, so this is not going to be easy. Just so it's not so laying on top. I don't want it to look like it's just laying on top. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, so now I'm going to try this again. Yeah, I like that better. It's probably a subtle difference, but, you know, it's kind of my... To me, it makes a difference, okay? You're probably going, didn't make any difference. Looks exactly the same. But anyway. All right. All right, so we kind of have that going all the way up and down. And we have that a little bit in there. Cut that off. Oh gosh, I just pulled it again. I might have to put a dot of glue there because it kind of dried out. But anyway, that's kind of what I would use and I think that's kind of cool. So I could do that. That could be go on a page if your hands aren't so sticky. Um, you could take one like this. Let me cut the ends off of this. Maybe move this down a little bit, get some ruffles evenly across there, right? So let's say I have that and I want to use, let's see here, what do I have? I have so many different colors. I'm going to take, oh, I don't know what color. I had a lot, so I could take that. I don't know if I'm going to use that. Let's see. I have a lot of blue, so I think I can't do I want a blue. This might be cool. Let's do grayish blue. I don't know if I want that. It's too bright, maybe. What else do I have? Oh, I have this stuff. Let me try that. Let me see how that looks. Let me try that. We'll just try a piece of that. And I'm going to wrap that in maybe with some white. And I'm going to take that. And maybe go like this. And just kind of wind it around my fingers. And I'm really just trying to... I probably should have made that longer. Because it's not... Once I wind it, it's not going to be long enough. Hold on. I'm going to wind it first and then figure out how much I need. Um, I'm just trying to add things to this that to me are not going to be too bulky and that look kind of organic for this particular um, set of um, journals I'm doing. So, of course, you could add lace. You could do anything you want down the middle. I mean, just the sky's the limit. That's up to you. And I think you probably get it already, right? This is not complicated. Okay. And I, you know, honestly, guys, I don't know that there's a right or wrong side. You can kind of look at it for yourself and decide that. Um, I'm just kind of, boy, boy, I hope my glue comes. I don't even remember what day it's supposed to come. I ordered some, and boy, it's taking, it's going to take a while, which I'm like, oh my God, what am I, I can't run out. Anyway, use this stuff all the time, so I am just, I got to get bigger. I, usually I buy like four bottles at a time, and I don't know what I was thinking the last time. I only bought two, and geez. I use so much of it. Okay, I could probably use other glues, but when I'm on camera, this stuff dries quickly, so it works really well. Um, and this is just a different kind of eyelash trim, really, so which I, I like a lot. Actually, okay, put that in here. Maybe I can move that down a little bit. There we go. Let me scooch it. So. All right. 
I think that's it. That's probably kind of what the, my, meets my goal. I'll probably have to smoosh it down a little bit more to make it stick. Like, like, uh, uh, everything's sticking to my fingers. But anyway, that's kind of what I'm going for. Okay, so let's see. Something like this I could do. What do I have that is maybe different? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um... I wonder how that would look. What do I have? I have so many different things. So it's just sometimes having more is not better because you have too many choices. So let me see. What about that? Oh, that looks good. I'm just going to do that and not add a lot of color to it. I think that looks cool. So, oh my God, how many strings is that? Okay, so this is just the end of it. Okay, here we go. Just talking to myself, folks. Um, yeah, I'm just going to make this kind of simple. You know what I think, though, too? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll just do that. I think that'll work. I was trying to think, should I add another color to this? Ooh, that's kind of cool. Would that be cool? Hmm, I might do that. Because that is neat. Let's see what colors I get in that. Are there any yellow? Okay, let me try that. That's kind of cool. Um, this eyelash trim that I got. I honestly, I got this at a, at a, um, thrift store, and I'm telling you, when you go to those things, just search, because it was kind of in the back, and it was in a bag, and it was, it was just in a plastic bag, and it was all bunched up, and honestly, I probably would have never noticed it, um, you know, because it was so in the back by itself. So I was like, okay, well. And it was just so squished together, you couldn't really tell what it was. So I've learned my lessons. You gotta look because you never know what you're gonna find. I don't know if I wanna do that. I'm gonna try it anyway. We'll do it gonna do that I think it's gonna work okay so I'm gonna do that and get my glue over here get those long pieces off of there like I said I'm trying to go right where I sewed because that also what it does is it keeps it the uh, threads from kind of moving and then I'm going to just take this as best I can twist it again and just kind of put that in there it doesn't have to be perfect but I want to make sure I get it all glued down okay let me see that it's kind of messed up there Quit, quit moving. I have stuff stuck to my hand, so everything's coming with me. Anyway, guys, I hope everyone had a good day. I had kind of a hectic, crazy day. I was trying to, she seems like I was trying to get so many things done today. And I finally just told myself, hey, you know what? Chill out because you got lots of time to get it done. You don't need, you don't have to get it done by a certain time, but. I'm trying to stay more on a schedule because I've noticed that with my husband home, there's just too many days I don't do things that I should do, and we're sitting and chatting, and I like that, but it's just, I just blow off too much, and then all of a sudden, I've got this 
pile of things that are backed up that I need to do. And you know, I don't want that to take away from my crafting time. So anyway, so that's that one. So we've kind of done these three. And I think, you know, they could be really cute um, on the edge of a page or, um, I mean, you could do it on a pocket. I mean, anything. Um, it'll Something different that you could use um, depending upon what you want to do with it. Now, there was one other thing that I wanted to show you guys. Let me see what our time is real quick. And then, let's see. Oh, we're doing good. Um, my fingers are so full of glue right now. If you have one like, let me see if I can find a smaller one. Is this one smaller? This is a little bit smaller. Okay, so here you have, I oh, could do that one too. Um, you know, it's already kind of, let me move that over. We'll just make something out of it. Okay, so I have one over here. And it's got all this blue on it and let's say I want to add some color to the middle of it or something or I want to you know um, just kind of make it a little different to where it's not all just white and blue or whatever you can take your ink and I, this is um, this is which, which one is this? this is cracked pistachio I love this color and this was like in the mark I don't know it was really cheap so I gotta get some of this color off of here so I am gonna I just put a little bit of my color down I put a little bit of um, alcohol and that's what I'm using I mean you could use water but I always use alcohol because it dries quicker and so I'm just gonna take that and there's some blue from in my this brush before but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just take it and I'm gonna actually just paint it okay and you can do this before you sew it you don't have to do it after I just had decided that I want to add more color to this and you really can't tell yet As a matter of fact I think I'm gonna make it a little bit darker than that I shouldn't do that right on there but that's okay it'll be all right and I'm going to mix that in there. I just want a little bit less opaque. I'm going to do that. I just want it to have kind of a ombre effect. And it will because what's going to happen is this is just going to bleed into the blue. And it's really best to do this when one color is already dry. Um, it will affect the other color because these are distressed oxides. Um, and that's why they will blend but you don't want it to completely fade out the other color. So I'm just going in the middle with this. And let's see how. So you don't have to do it, you know, just the one color. You can add other colors to it. And it gives it a, I mean, then, you know, you don't, I think you don't really have to think, well, gee, do I have to add, you know, other colors. I got to need more. I'm going to run out, aren't I? That's coming with me. And that's another thing, too, on this eyelash trim, guys. Um, if you go back and look at my lace video, you will see that um, I dyed a lot of my lace. Well, you can dye your eyelash trim, too. So, like, I got on Amazon this huge six bundles of this and it was I didn't want six bundles but apparently that's the only way that you could skeins I guess you could buy it and it was cheaper to do that than to buy the individual ones from some other places so I did that and um, I did that because I knew that I could dye those whatever color I want in fact um, this coral color one that I put on here is one that I dyed from that off-white one that I had so you know and it's super easy in fact I'll show you how to do it in just a second so you don't have to go find my video it's super easy I mean my hands are already a mess so I might as well right I got time got time 
nothing but time. All I should be doing right now is sleeping. So I usually end up doing my videos at night just because um, it's quiet and I mean it's not like I have kids running around or anything but it's just you know TV's not blaring somewhere or you know there's just not the dogs are eat sleep and everything's just it's just quiet so I enjoy it okay so anyway that's kind of how it's gonna look I'm gonna where'd my wipe go I'll wipe that up and then you can kind of see let me see if I can shoot that dry real quick so we can do it where'd my what in the world did my heat gun go to it had to go somewhere I usually have it hanging up guys so it just kind of oh here it is it just disappeared oh if you could see my whole craft room it is such a disaster even though I cleaned it up just the other day so anyway um, if you do it this way um, it can make a really cool effect so you don't I mean you don't have to put anything down the middle I mean honestly I think this could be just cool on its own but I have figured out that if you're doing this it's better to let the one color dry and then come back with the other color or you kind of lose the one color completely um, I mean you could even add another color if you wanted to I mean just go as, go as much as you want so now what I'm going to do is, let's see how this looks ruffled so you guys can see. That I don't want to pull that one because it's probably going to make a knot. So I'm going to go to this one. Where's the top? I'm telling you, this is so hard to do when your fingers are all sticky. Okay. So I'm going to do, okay, I'll do this. Here we go. So anyway, I'm going to do this and it you will see it has a really cool effect and honestly like on this one i don't i wouldn't do anything else to it i would just leave it the way it is because it's such a cool neat effect maybe this one will work better no it's just kind of getting stuck okay there we go so anyway you can see this makes a very neat effect and honestly you don't have to do anything else to it I don't think okay are you gonna really be that unreasonable okay it's stuck yeah sometimes it'll get knotted and stuck so then you kind of have to work from the other end a little bit now this one's gonna be knotted so I'm gonna have to cut that or it won't work okay let's see find my loose end here I get that up from here should not be that hard there we go all right so I'm just getting my loose my end from here and starting to pull it was kind of knotted on the end, so it wasn't working real good. So anyway, why are you being so difficult? It should be easy. Okay, there we go. Anyway, just going to do that. And I'm telling you, I think that this effect um, and putting another color in it just, just does something, you know, to where it just, it's so, it's just neat by itself. You don't have to do anything else to it, I don't think. But, you know, let me get that babe down. It's not cooperative. This is the most uncooperative little thing. I don't know if that's why my machine was messing up or what. Okay, so that's kind of it. And you guys can see that that just had a completely different kind of effect to it, didn't it? See, isn't that neat? So, I mean, I don't know. I could just see that on a page um, without doing anything else to it now you of course you could put you know something on it or if you want to but I, I like it just like that so um, 
you can do that. And then here, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna keep that kind of short. It's driving me crazy. There's another thing that you could do. Um, here's one that I did with just vintage photo. Okay, this is just um, vintage photo. I think it's vintage photo. I don't remember which one I used. Um, and on this, it's really plain. Okay, and I kind of like that because um, it could just make a really cool effect. Okay, that's knotted, so that's not going to work. Hey, hey, I am telling you, this should not be that difficult, but I was having a little problems with my machine earlier, but, so this is just a plain one, okay, so, um, this you could, well, let me just try something, I want to see if this works. You can take that and let me see. I had a lace here I was going to use. Oh. Where did it go? I had it out. Now I don't remember where I put it. Yeah, I think this was it. Okay. So you could just take something like this. All right. And glue. Let me see what happens. I'm going to glue it down first and then see what happens if it'll work that way. It might. We'll see. If it doesn't, that's okay. It's paper. So I'm going to take this before I gather it. And I'm going to put some lace down the middle. And I've yet to try this, so I have no idea if it's going to work or not. Well, it's a tiny dot, dot of blue. I don't know if I need it this long. We shall see. You do, you do need it a lot longer than you think because it does have to um, um, go all the way down. I don't know. Okay, let me see. I don't know. <sighs> now what I could have done is I could have put the lace down and then you know, gathered it with this, uh, which probably would have worked well. You know, when I sewed it, just sewed it down the middle rather than having to glue it on. But I'm this is an afterthought, so I'm not lying about it. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Let me see. I'm trying not to glue the two sides together. Oh, yeah, I think that's going to work out well. Okay. You just never know when I'm doing this whether... It's going to work, but that's the fun of it, right? The experiments are fun. Okay, so this is just a plain, um, really cheap lace that I, I coffee dyed. I don't think I coffee dyed. Actually, I think I alcohol dyed it with my, my latte alcohol ink that I mix in a, in a, you know, it's probably about a four to one ratio with, um, alcohol. And I make my own little alcohol ink. I've showed you guys if you haven't noticed. It's in this. I use this stuff all the time. I usually make my other alcohol inks. But I do buy that uh, latte because I use it a lot. Because if I'm making something and like I need just one or two things that... Um, what coffee dyed or whatever I, I will just spray that on there and because it's alcohol it dries really quick and it really turns out I think great so I'm just hoping this is going to pull after it's glued so we shall see I don't know never tried it okay so there we go got that on there let's see if it's going to work if it doesn't, it looks kind of cool like it is. So I am going to pull. Oh, it's just not easy when your hands are this sticky. See how bad they are? Okay. My hands are always a mess. Always a mess. Okay, so we got to do this. It may not work now because I'm, you know, doing this. Oh, that's kind of cool. My hands are pulling it off because they're so sticky. Here we go. Oh gosh, come on. 
There we go. I'm trying to get this to pull down, but it's just... Oh. Probably not a great idea. Probably the best bet on this, guys, would be to sew it and not glue it, okay? Because I think the glue is drying and it's keeping me from being able to pull this. I mean, I still can, but it's not easy. So if you want to do the lace down the middle like this and you want it to ruffle, I would say the best thing to do would be to... Um, just maybe put a couple dots or use a glue stick um, and then sew it and then what you're doing is you're going to be pulling the lace and um, your crepe paper and right now what I'm doing is I'm trying to hurry up and do this before the glue draws to the point where I can't do it so and that is totally unnecessary if you were to just sew it right down the middle but I didn't think about it so this is on the cuff crafting guys so live and learn by my mistakes uh, let me see if i can get it from the other side i doubt i can it's probably already dry let me see i've got to get one of the ends here of the string and what i can do if this doesn't work i can go back and sew it and then pull it. It'll work because I'll have a new string that's not glued. You know, I mean, uh, part of it is my hands really are sticky. Okay, keep pulling. There we go. There we go. Get that all done. Ugh. Anyway, you get the gist of it, right? Okay. Do that. Here we go. Keep going down. So anyway, guys, I do want to remind everyone about Giveaway Fridays. That's coming up. And uh, I don't know, I think I'm right around 930 subscribers. So when I hit a thousand, I've got a special um, giveaway. And if I have time, I'll show you what that is. If not, um, look back at my last giveaway. Um, also, if you're new, the way that you participate in the Giveaway Fridays is you subscribe to my channel, you watch a video um, during the current week, you make a comment during that current week, and then you are entered. And every week I start over and I take all the comments from that week, Friday through Friday, um, and I um, use those to draw, draw names for my giveaways and I will pay up to $10 shipping um, and that you know if it's more than that you can decide whether you want to pay the difference okay so I don't know if it's gonna work all the way guys so we may have to just kind of like get the gist of it and not really have it done because it's not not doing it not doing it. I don't think it's going to do it much more than this. So it's getting, I think what it is is that the glue's dried. So it's not going to move like it shouldn't move. But what you should do on this, let me move it down more if I can get it just a little bit more just so you can get an idea. Come on, you just have to cooperate a little bit. Um, what you should do, like I said, is just sew the lace on there instead of doing this. This is a very, um, ab-libbed situation here because I wasn't really planning on doing this but I mean I don't okay let me keep going it's just hard now because the glue is kind of all right anyway I'm not going to do any more with that so I think you guys get the idea but it's going to be kind of just a little ruffle with this like that 
and that's kind of how it's going to look. I mean, to me, that's kind of a really neat look where it is on the other side. Okay, so that to me is cool, just like that. I mean, I like that. You would, you know, this, you know, obviously I didn't finish, but that's kind of what you're going to be doing. Okay, so that's not going to probably work much more. Yeah, it's pretty tight now because right now all the glue is dried. So I'm just going to move this down a little bit and then probably just cut that off and just use that little portion, you know, rather than worry about the whole thing because I'm not going to. I'm not going to get all that done today, right this minute. I'm just going to cut that off right there. And you guys see what we're talking about. We're just, all we're doing is we're just doing that. We're kind of, you know, making it like that. And then this would be a little bit more gathered. But um, that's kind of the idea if you just wanted to put some lace on it and then have something. It's super lightweight. Um to put on a page. I think that would be cool. And then you've got your one that you just did that you're not adding anything to. It just has more color to it. And then you've got your other ones that maybe you put some things on there. You could, again, put lace on that too. Um, I was just trying to ruffle the lace with that. And it did do that, but I'm, the easiest way to do that honestly would be to just, when you're sewing your stitch down the middle is to put the lace on beforehand and then it'll ruffle together and then here's the blue one so i think you know these are just a cute thing to do um and they're super easy and they're kind of fun um, of course again i always pick crafts that get my hands all messy but anyway that's that's it guys it's all i've got so i'm um, just trying um Get some time in for crafting and don't forget about the giveaway oh and about the thousand uh, let me show you this real quick when i hit a thousand subscribers i am giving away um this uh, this journal and it will be to um any of my subscribers that i've had this whole time and it's just going to be a random drawing um, so this is what I'm giving away when I hit a thousand. So just going to be any subscriber. So anyway, guys, ugh. any subscriber comment that's been in there is just going to be, I've got a big pot of all of them because I've saved them. I start over every week, but I've saved the old ones and I'm just going to take one out of there. That's how I'm going to get it. Just randomly draw it. Okay. So, and I, I don't know, may, I might be there by this next week. I don't know we'll see all right guys you take care um everybody try and have a good day or evening or whatever and um, spend some time being creative because i really do think it's a great outlet um and en enjoy that time so i'll see you again next time bye